Hey, this is Jennifer with the Looking Natural, and I wanted to give you an update. Um, I have been transitioning my hair from from these locks that I have. I've had these locks for four years, and they are super long. And I don't know what possessed me, but I got obsessed with micro locks. And I, when I started my lock journey. I knew I wanted my locks to be somewhat smaller, but when I parted them and everything, they ended up this size for the most part. So, I've been slowly, slowly, let me see if I can find my hair. So, I have my hair sectioned out into some areas here. So, I have the pieces that I have done my, uh, a smaller lock right here. Let me take it out. So what I wanted to do to try to disguise, because I can only wear it in a in a in a ponytail up, because I have come in here and let me see if I could get closer. This is one that you could really see. Let's see if I could turn this light a little bit closer to here. Okay, so. Here's where I made a smaller lock. So what I've been doing is taking one of my locks, like say I took this one, and divide it in half. Cut it. I cut it about here because I was losing so much hair that I cut it about here. And I'm saving the ends, by the way, in case I decide to go back. And I'm taking, I'm taking some added hair. I'm taking some human hair and doing a braid at the root, then a, a twist, and then when I'm adding the hair, I'm braiding and braiding and twisting the added hair. So I have like a feed-in braid or a lock braid, and they're this big, so they're smaller. And so I'm progressively going throughout my head. So when I I've done some on both sides, no rhyme or reason to it, except like this one's a little bit bigger. I added the hair and I had it a lighter color hair onto the end and did, did this too. Okay, so I have combed out this one lock and Part of the reason why I went went to locks in the first place is that my natural hair would get so tangled so easily. I mean, it was ridiculous how tangled my hair would get. So here's the whole lock. And I'm combing the hair out, the dead hair out. Okay. So, I have to say that this method of cutting my lock half at the halfway point, because here we go, here's my hair, okay, at the halfway point is actually better. This is how much hair I lost. I'm going to hold it up. So, you know, I have the whole, and you can see all the buildup in there. Um, and this is the lock that I cut off. So this is about, I don't know how many inches, but maybe. Like four and a half inches I cut off. Okay. And then this is all the hair from one lock, y'all. Okay. So this is the hair that's left. So you can see. So all I'm doing is splitting the lock into two. This this is a fat lock, so I almost can do three, but I'm only gonna do two. So I got in one side and then one side. I could probably do this in three, but I'm not. So 
hair had a, it, it always liked to stick together. And so that's the problem I have with my loose natural hair. Is that, you see, I even have a ball right here. It's another ball of hair. It just liked to stick together. It did not want to. So I'm, I'm braiding it. I'm braiding it. I'm going to do this one. Snip. Alright. So, I'll just show you again what I did. I snipped it, as you can tell. And then I just started, and I'm just taking random hair from all over, all over my head. I should cut them all first, sort of blend in. I might do that. Just cut them all. But then I can't style it. Like here, where I'm done it, I have to be, my hair will have to be down, and I don't necessarily want it down. So I'm going to keep it long as I go through each lock. I'm going to take it out like I'm taking this one out. And then I have to go turn it, you know, because I've turned it here. So I have to pick it out from every uh, uh, And this will be the last time I'm doing this. I'm not trying to. I was happy with my hair. Actually, I always wanted them smaller. The locks came out a little bit bigger. And so if you want to know why I'm doing it, I don't know. I just don't have nothing else to do. <laughs> Not nothing else to do. I do have stuff to do. Um, I just like how the, how the micro locks or the sister locks look. But I still want to be able to maintain it myself. So um, I'm not trying to go too small.
So that's where I'm at with that with that journey. So um, just wanted to inform you what I was doing. And so this is, you know, when I leave it down, this is what it looks like right now. It's just kind of a, a little bit of a hot mess. I've got this tied up because these are the next ones I'm going to cut and do. And the ones that I have little things on the bottom are the ones I'm going to save um, once I've done the rest of my hair. Those are the ones I'm going to save as my mementos. I've got a few on this side, maybe one or two, maybe two or three on this side, and then like four on this side that I'm going to retain. So the rest I'm going to cut, unless they're super small. I have one lock that's like super small. So I'm not, yeah, like this one right here. This one is the size that I want these to be approximately. So I'm going for this. This is the size I'm going for. So not super small, not sister locks, but smaller. So um, that's it for now. And see you in the next video.